We all know to be successful in investing, you need multiple investments. You can't rely on one investment to make all your money. You need some diversification. Now, this also applies to automated trading systems. Not one automated trading system is going to make you successful. It's not going to win all the time. It's only going to win some of the time. So we need to build our own army of trading systems. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that, how to build your own army of automated trading systems so you can have a kick-ass portfolio that is going to be well diversified and making money in multiple different markets. Before we get started, hi, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code my own automated trading systems, as well as trade my own capital to make a return in the futures market. If you want to work with me, there's some links in the description below. This video is gonna cover a lot of the basics, but if you truly wanna be a killer shark in the automated trading systems market, definitely see the links below. I'm gonna help you achieve that. All right, so let's talk about how to properly build a portfolio of automated trading systems that ideally will have an edge in the market and outperform most traditional investments. All right, so before we start with our portfolio, we need at least one good trading bot, right? We need to start with something that's decent to actually get this portfolio going. So how do we build our first good trading bot? What are the characteristics of a good trading bot? One, it makes money. It makes money with new data, unseen data. It makes money even after you include slippage and commissions. It makes money in bullish and bearish markets. It makes money when you change the parameters a little bit. And the live trades, meaning the real money trades, match the hypothetical or backtest trades. So the time of day, the price, everything sort of matches or is relatively close. And the live results are pretty realistic and the backtest results are mirroring that realism. So those are some characteristics of a good trading bot. All right, so now we know the characteristics of a good trading bot. How do we build one? So first we need an idea, an idea to test a bot with. We could get this idea from a book, from another YouTuber, from Google, maybe you dreamt of it, maybe someone told you it. We need an idea to start with. So start kind of getting a list of ideas and start logging them in an Excel sheet or a notepad so you have a list of ideas to test. All right, so once we have an idea for a bot, we're gonna have to take that idea and make rules for it. When does it buy? When does it sell? Does it have profit targets, stop losses? We need to write all these rules out. Once we have the rules and the idea, we need to start testing it. And we need a platform to test our rules and idea. Personally, I use NinjaTrader to run my automated trading systems and I code and build my trading systems in NinjaTrader. I test them and I run them live in NinjaTrader. So you can pick a platform. Like I said, I recommend NinjaTrader. There's many other platforms if you prefer you know, other languages or other interfaces that you can use also to test. For example, TradeStation, MultiCharts, QuantConnect, and the list goes on. There's many, many platforms, but we've got to pick one platform to start testing our ideas and rules. All right, so you've picked a platform and now you want to start taking your idea and your rules and putting them into life. And to do that, you write code, right? You can write code in these platforms to simulate those buy and sell rules. Now, if you don't know how to code, no worries. In the link below, for my course, I teach you how to code trading systems in NinjaTrader. But if you do know how to code, then obviously you don't need that. You can keep moving forward. So you're gonna code your rules and ideas into that platform and test it to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. For example, say you have a trading system that buys on Mondays and sells on Fridays. Well, you wanna run a simple test to make sure the code that you wrote is actually working from a technical perspective, right? So is it actually buying Mondays and is it actually buying on or selling on Fridays? Right? And maybe you wanna test that over a month to see multiple trades to make sure it's meeting all your needs, okay? So you have your idea, you, you wrote out your rules as well when it's gonna buy and sell, you've written the code in the platform and you've tested it to make sure it's working from a technical perspective, all right? So we've done quite a bit, but we're still not very close. We're about 40% there. The next step is to actually optimize it, right? We have, we've tested our idea, maybe it makes money, maybe it doesn't, but we wanna start optimizing it, meaning we wanna start changing some of the variables to have it meet our investment goals, right? And maybe your goal is, oh, it has to be profitable, or maybe your goal is it has to make $10 a month. Whatever that goal is, you wanna optimize your strategy to fit that goal so it reaches it, right? 
Now to optimize the strategy, how do you do that? How do you optimize the strategy? Well, most platforms like NinjaTrader or TradeStation have built-in optimization tools that you can use. And they're actually very easy to use. They're just a simple interface where you can do a range of values to find the best value for that variable, right? So NinjaTrader, you just change the type to optimization, and now your parameters in your strategy can be optimized and you can select different values. With that being said, we don't want to optimize all the data in our backtest because we're going to be tarnishing and overfitting our trading system. What I recommend is only optimizing on a year or two years worth of data to sort of fit the strategy for that time period, but not for other years. Once again, we don't want to overfit our trading system, which is a big no-no when it comes to automated trading bots. Overfitting can cause a trading system to lose money once you run it live because you fit it for a certain time period. So once again, we do want to optimize, but only on a small time frame, usually a year to two years, and save the other data to test. Now that other data to test is called out of sample data. Now this is called walk forward optimization, where you optimize your parameters with some data, and then you save those optimization parameters and test them with new data. It's one of the best ways to avoid overfitting and allows you to build robust trading systems. If your trading bot can make a return with new unseen data, amazing. That's a really good sign that you have a robust trading system. However, in reality, and you'll find this out very quickly, you may have 100 ideas and test all 100 and maybe only 10 to 20 are actually good. So my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. So be prepared to test a lot of ideas and a majority of them will fail. They will not make money and that's okay. You just keep logging your ideas, keep building a backlog of them and you'll have more and more to test in the future. Now you have your first great trading bot. The last step is to run it in a simulated environment to see if it's doing well with the current market as of now. Usually what I like to do is run this new trading system in a paper or a simulation account for 30 days to see if it does well in the current market. And if it makes money in those 30 days, at the end of those 30 days, I will run it live in my portfolio with real money. A lot of times you can back test the strategy and even walk forward optimize it, but it doesn't make money in real time. And that's why I run trading systems in a paper or sim account for 30 days before launching it to see if it does well. You'll weed out a lot of bad strategies. So if it doesn't make money in those 30 days, you keep it in sim, you keep it in your paper account, but you don't run it live. And if it does make money in those 30 days, then you run it live in your portfolio. Now, for those strategies that did not pass in those 30 days, as I said, keep them in the SIM account. And once they do start making money, then you can put it in your live portfolio. I do that as well. And some strategies will start making money 60 or 90 days after, but it's crucial to run it in a simulated or paper account. You're gonna filter out a lot of strategies that are not working in the current market regime, and of course, saving you money. Now, that is just one soldier in our army of trading bots. We're gonna need more to be diversified. So repeat the before process that I just mentioned, but focus on different instruments, different timeframes, and maybe different rules for those trading systems to achieve that diversification. It doesn't matter how many bots you have in your portfolio. All you want to do at the end of the day is increase your returns while keeping your volatility in check. Making more money is great. We all want to make more money. I want to make more money. But when you start trading live with real money, you're going to have big swings in your portfolio, especially if you didn't develop it right. On the upside, and on the downside. You wanna reduce that downside by introducing uncorrelated strategies and diversification into your portfolio. And you do that by building trading systems that trade different instruments, different markets, different timeframes, or have different entry and exit signals. I hope you found value in this video. Once again, my name is Jacob Amaral. Stay tuned for future videos about algo trading costs and how to be a killer shark in the algo trading market. See you guys, bye.